Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to knit a ball. For this tutorial, we will be knitting in the round on double pointed needles. So you're going to need double pointed needles and you're going to have to know how to knit in the round on double pointed needles. So check out the tutorial I have on that if you need a refresher. This is kind of a more advanced way to knit a ball. Um, so if you want something a little more simpler, I will have an easy tutorial on how to make a ball that's still pretty cool, um, but it's a little easier. Um, the link for that will be below in the description, so check that out if you want. Otherwise, let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is cast on just six stitches onto a double pointed needle, and then we're gonna divide those six stitches up amongst three other double pointed needles. So there's gonna be just two stitches on each double pointed needle. The reason we're going to start out so small is because to create the um, the ball we're gonna start out really small at the bottom then grow and get really big in the middle of it and then we're gonna get really small again so it's almost like we're knitting two hats but one of those hats is going to be knit from the top down so a good way to think about this is that we're knitting a hat from the top down right now now we're gonna start knitting in the round. This part is probably the least fun because it's extremely difficult just to knit two stitches on a needle when you're knitting in the round. Um, but try to do it. <laughs> um, I really struggle with this first part. Um, and technically what you're going to, you're supposed to be able to do is you're going to wanna knit an increase on each one of these stitches right off the bat but I just can't do that. So I'm going to just knit a couple rows around just so I can get it a little more, get it feeling a little more solid um, on the needles. And then once I have it built up a little bit, then I'll start increasing. So now I have built it up a, a couple more rows here. You can see it's just a little bit of a bump there, a little tube that's starting. To, to form. Um, when this turns into more of a ball, um, I'm basically gonna flip this inside out so you won't, this won't be like a big bump on the ball or anything like that. So that's fine. Um, but now we're going to start increasing and you're going to want to knit one increase on every single one of these stitches right off the bat. And if you need a tiny little refresher, um, the way you increase, or at least do a simple increase, is you just take your yarn, you knit it like normal through there, um, but, but before you pull off this, uh, the yarn that's on the left stitch, slip your needle back into the loop along the back side, and then wrap the yarn again around the needle, and then pull it through that loop. So there I just knit one stitch off, but I ended up with two. So I'll do that one more time just so you can see. Slip the needle through here, wrap the yarn around like you're gonna knit like normal, but before you pull off that stitch, slip the needle back into the loop and wrap it around again and pull it off. So now I turned two stitches into four stitches. And we're going to do that for every single stitch left on this row. So increase a stitch on the two more needles we have left. So now this is what your knitting should look like after doing those rows of increases. Now I have, I've turned f those two stitches into four stitches. So you should have four stitches on each one of your needles for a total of 12 stitches. For the next row, all you're going to do is knit totally normally um, for a whole row or for a whole round. So knit these next stitches just normally, not worrying about increasing or decreasing or anything like that. And then on our next row, we'll start increasing it a little more. Now for this next row, we are going to be increasing again. And depending on how severe or how wide of a sphere you're going to be making is gonna depend on how many stitches you're increasing by. 
If you want to, you can increase with every single stitch here, again, like we did before, um, but you're gonna end up with a very kind of wide, very um, quickly growing sphere. Um, I, for me, I like to just increase by six each, each time. So, and then since you're growing this number, um, you're always gonna wanna evenly uh, disperse those stitches amongst your stitches. So right now we've got 12 and we want to put on six more stitches. I'm just going to increase by every other stitch. So to do that, I'm going to knit one normal stitch and then on the second stitch I'm going to do my increase. So increase here and then I'm going to knit a normal stitch increase again with this stitch, if I can get the loop there. There's my increase. And then moving on to the next one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna knit one normal stitch and then knit an increase, knit a normal stitch, knit an increase all the way around. So now after that round, I have six stitches on every single needle for a total of 24 stitches. And you're basically going to repeat that pattern over and over again. The next round we're going to knit is just gonna be normal knitting all the way around. And then the round after that is gonna be a round of increasing. You're gonna cast on, increase by six, six stitches or more. And then after that, knit a normal round, increase again on the next round, knit a normal round, then increase again on another round. Um, and you're just kind of re repeating that until you get the, um, uh, the what's this called, the, the ball. So you get the ball as big as you want it to be. Um, and really you can make it as wide as you want. You may have to end up introducing more double pointed needles. Um, luckily I have um, a lot of these size double pointed needles. Um, so I'm going to increase it pretty wide. Um, you can keep it small, you can keep it large, um, but every time you increase by six, it's gonna get pretty wide, so just keep that in mind. But I'm going to follow this pattern for a couple of rounds, and then once I get to the middle part as for, for the circumference, I get the circumference as wide as I want it to be, I'll show you how to go about decreasing and finishing it up. So now here is what I have after a couple of rounds. I've lost track of how much I've increased by. But as you can see, I have a lot of stitches on each needle and I actually had to up the number of double pointed needles that I'm using for this. I've got five needles right now and I've got a lot of backups too right here. Um, this is, here's that little bump that we started with um, and now you can kind of easily see once I'm finished with this, I'm going to take this and basically turn it inside out. Actually, I'll do that right now. Um, just pull it through that hole and it'll turn it inside out. And then if you want to, you can knit like a little X stitch here just to kind of pull it tight inward. So now I am, I've got it as wide as I want it to be. Um, you can already see kind of a little, um, ball that's starting to form a little hat shape. This is how you knit a hat from the top down actually, but because we're going to close this up and create um, a ball, we're going to start decreasing. To knit a decrease, um, it's, you basically follow the same rules as knitting an increase. Um, you're going to be decreasing by six stitches um, and those are going to be evenly dispersed amongst your um, five needles. So you can use math here if you want to. I don't like to, I just like to eyeball it because I am I'm lazy, really. Um, so I'm just going to decrease by six stitches. I'm gonna decrease um, once I feel I've reached yeah, an even place where I can decrease. So here's my first decrease. Um, if you uh, need a little quick refresher on how to decrease, you just knit two stitches together. It's super simple. Um, sometimes it'll be kind of tight like these ones. Uh, just slip your needle through two stitches and knit them off and then continue knitting.
I'm on my second needle now and I'm going to knit my second decrease um, and then just to show you again how to knit a decrease you just scoop up those two stitches and sometimes it's tight slip your needle through there wrap the yarn around and knit both of them off and there's your decrease so keep doing that for four more decreases um, until you get back to where you started Here's what it looks like after my row of decreasing. Doesn't look like much, um, but there are less. There are six less stitches on here. Now um, we're going to follow the same rule as when we were increasing. So I'm going to knit a row of just normal knits. I'm gonna knit all the way around again. And then after that, you're gonna do a row of decreasing. So decreasing by six, and then you're gonna knit a normal row and then knit a row of decreasing by six. And you're just gonna be keep doing that and doing that until it gradually starts closing up. Already, even with just those, that small row of decreases, you can see kind of where it is starting to close in and, and punch out and become kind of a circle or a, a sphere. So I'm just gonna knit normal and then I'm gonna decrease and then I will show you uh, what it looks like as I go along. Here is some progress that I've made. Um, I've decreased after, this is after a couple rows of decreasing and as you can see, it's starting to close up and really start to form this kind of a ball shape. Not kind of a ball shape, it actually is a ball shape. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, before I get this closed up any tighter is I'm going to pull this little button on the end going to push it in and I'm going to tie it really tight so here's the um, the yarn that I started with I'm going to thread that through a little um, needle just for yarn and I'm just going to take it through and I'm going to thread it through on the other side and makes make a quick little X here just so I can tighten this end and pull everything in so it doesn't pop out once I put stuffing in it So that just ensures that that little bump that we started with the first tube isn't going to like pop out or anything like that and keep it nice and round on the top. I'm going to keep decreasing but then I'm going to stop right before um, it gets too small for me to fit my fingers through. Um, once we have a little opening left I'm going to start stuffing it. Once you're ready to start stuffing um, you just take uh, whatever you're going to stuff it with and start stuffing. Um, I'm just gonna use normal batting that you can get from any craft store. Um, but sometimes if you're using thick knitting needles, there'll be um, some pretty significant holes in here. Actually, mine is actually, if you stretch it out, you can kind of see through the ball. Um, in those cases, um, I wouldn't use batting. I would use um, like fabric scraps or an old t-shirt even. Um, sometimes you can take a piece of fabric and wrap it around the stuffing just to create kind of a barrier between the stuffing and, um, and your knitting. Now I am just about done. I'm going to finish decreasing all the way around up until when I finish. Now I'm back to um, just how we started uh, with two stitches on three needles for six total. And at this point, don't bother about like stretching out the tube or anything like that. Just focus on decreasing each one of these stitches. Um, you'll be decreasing it down to three right now. And I'm gonna get rid of that needle. And I'm just gonna decrease every single one of these. When you're down to just two stitches left, um, you can either knit those together or just do a cast off. I'm gonna knit them together. And then you have just one stitch left. This was the moment that I ran out of battery and so I ran out of footage. But basically what you're supposed to be doing here is cut off the yarn, put it through the loop and tie it off. And then what you can do is take your yarn needle, um, put the yarn onto the, uh, this is really hard to explain without 
actually doing it in a video. Um, take the string, put it on the yarn needle, and then use that to either uh, kind of finish up the end there. Um, what I end up doing is I actually end up pulling it really tight to make kind of like a pin cushion type thing, but really you'll be good if you just tie it off and then um, kind of hide that end string in the middle of the, uh, the ball. And that's about it. But those are the basics. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and like this, and I will see you next time.